Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, I will teach you how to install Tailwind CSS version 4 or how to set up Tailwind environment development. So let's talk about the software that you have to install on your computer. We will use Visual Studio Code as a tag editor or code editor. You have to go to this URL code.visualstudio.com and download this software and install it on your computer. I will teach you how to install the software it's pretty simple. Just click next, next, next until it's done. And the second software that you have to download and install on your computer is Node.js. You can download it from node.js.org and then click on download. After the download is done, just double click on the files to install the files. Here's how you can check if your computer have installed Node.js successfully. You make a right click and then open in terminal. And then just type node dash v you will see the current version of node.js on your computer make sure that you install the up-to-date node.js okay let's get started so first of all let's create a folder over here right click no folder i will name it tailwind cls starter and let's get into the folder and then make a right click open in terminal and then I will open this folder with Visual Studio Code. I type code and dot hit enter. And then go to terminal, new terminal. Over here, make sure that you are using command prompt. I'm using PowerShell, so I will switch it to command prompt. Let's take a look at Tailwind CLS documentation. We are going to use the official documentation to install it. You will see here it's a Tailwind version 4. I have made a video about version 3 before. You can take a look on it if you want to install version 3. Go to Docs over here and then go to Tailwind CLI. We are going to use Tailwind CLIs to create a project for Tailwind environment development. Okay, here how you can install Tailwind. You use this command. Okay, let's go back to this one. And then the first command that you have to type, you have to type npm in it. Hit enter. It's going to ask you the package name. I just hit enter and enter. For the description, you can put whatever you want. For me, I will put nothing. And then hit enter, enter, enter. And hit enter. You will see package.json files over here after you have run npm init okay when you have the package.json you can start install tailwind package so you are going to use this command just copy it and go back to visual studio code paste it over here hit enter if we download tailwind css and install in this project then if you see package.json you will see tailwind uh, CSS and Tailwind CLI has been installed in this project over here. You will see Tailwind CSS. Okay, the next thing that you have to do, let's go back to the documentation. It will tell you that you have to import this Tailwind to input.css. Okay, let's create input.css over here. We are going to create input.css inside the source folder. Okay, and then input.css and then you just copy this code and put this over here okay uh, the next thing we have to create uh, let's create index.html inside source folder first okay index.html and then copy this code and put it over here in index.html it will use output.css as a style so to generate output.css from input.css you have to use this command just copy this command this command will be used to uh, build the tailwind CSS and generate CSS files for you. Okay, you go back here and paste the command over here, hit enter. And then you will see output.css over here. 
every time you make change on this one HTML, it will regenerate output the CSS for you. For example, I type background red 500. I save. It will regenerate the output for me. In order to open index.html, you can open it with live server. So I highly recommend you install live server if you have not installed it on your Visual Studio code. Sorry. This one. Make sure you install this extension. Okay, then you can open it with live server. After you save the file, you will see hello and you will see background is red. So for example, if I change the background to blue, you will see it's regenerate and change the background to blue. Sorry, and let me save again and then let me go back here. See? You just hit Control S to save the files and it will automatically change the browser for you because you run the browser because you run in index.html with live server. I can press Ctrl C to exit uh, this build process. If you don't wanna remember this like command, you just copy this command. Let me go back here and copy this command from here. So let me go to package.json and then let me put dev over here and paste the command over here. So the next time I want to compile the input files to generate the output.cs, I don't have to run this command. I just run npm run dev. Let me remove this one and show you. See, I just run npm run dev. This dev is this dev, okay? And hit enter. It will call this command, see? Call this command and compile output.cs for me. Generate output.cs for me. And if you go back to live server, open with live server, you will see it's work the same. Let me change this one to yellow. Save. And let me refresh. See, sometimes it doesn't refresh automatically, but it's totally work. And what if you want to put index.html in other folder? So what you have to make change? For example, I create this folder over here. And I want to move HTML over here. Okay. And then I want output.css to be inside this folder. So I have to go to packet.json. You will see we get input from this one and we generate output to this path. So we just change this one to this and it will generate output. But I don't like the output name. I want it to be style and I save it. And then over here, I change this one to styles. So we have to stop this uh, build because we have changed packet.json and run npm run dev again. You will see it generates styles over here. And let me delete output over here. So for example, if you open this with live server, it works the same. Let me change this one to green. And what else we can do over here? And over here, I need auto suggestion from Tailwind. So what can I do? I have to install Tailwind IntelliSense over here, Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. And then to enable this like one, I have to create config files in the project. Let me copy this one. And let me go to here. Let me create, paste it over here and put .js. Okay, I have installed the extension, right? Let me check it again. Yeah, it's installed. You don't have to put anything on the uh, tailwind.config.js we just want is to trigger auto completion from the extension that we've installed tailwind css intelligent okay over here you will see the extension work right now you can see the green icon over here for example if i put like bg you see you will get auto uh, suggestion over here amber 200 okay you see it's worked 
and if you go back here you will see amber color okay in the future if you want to upload this website into the server you just upload these two files index.html and styles.css it will work for example if i reveal this in explorer and i go to this over here i open this one without using live server you will see it work it can read uh styles.css perfectly all right this is all about this tutorial if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down below